Let's talk about leukemia. Leukemia is a cancer that develops in the red marrow of bones. Remember that red bone marrow is a specialized tissue where the process of hematopoiesis or blood cell formation occurs. Taking a look at the inside of red bone marrow, we would find hematopoietic stem cells differentiating into either myeloid stem cells or lymphoid stem cells. Each of these stem cells then go on to divide into different types of blood cells. A myeloid stem cell is the parent cell for erythrocytes, granulocytes, and agranulocytes like monocytes, and megakaryocytes, which platelets come from. The lymphoid stem cell is the parent cell for B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes, which are both important in adaptive immunity and natural killer cells, which are part of innate immunity. Note that this process of proliferation and differentiation known as hematopoiesis is continually happening. However, sometimes certain cells in the process fail to differentiate and simply proliferate instead. This breach or disruption may occur when there is a translocation, inversion, or deletion of a gene or genes that are involved in controlling the regulation of blood cell growth and development. Leukemia comes about when high levels of blast cells or less differentiated cells appear in the blood. There are several factors or events known to incite the genetic abnormalities observed in leukemia. These include exposure to both medical and non-medical forms of radiation, which explains how leukemia can sometimes develop as a secondary cancer after aggressive radiation therapy in the treatment of an unrelated cancer. Chemicals like formaldehyde and the chemical benzene, which is found in cigarette smoke and gasoline, can bring about changes in genes. The risk of developing leukemia is also increased in individuals with certain congenital disorders. This is especially true for people with Down syndrome, also known as trisomy 21. Those with Down syndrome have three copies of chromosome 21 instead of just two, and this overexpression of genes increases the, re the risk for developing leukemia up to 10 to 20 times compared to that of the general population. Genetic abnormalities disrupt the differentiation of these cells into the terminal functional cell, and where along this process of disruption occurs partially determines which type of leukemia a person gets. A breach of differentiation in the myeloid stem cell line results in what is known as myelogenous or myeloid leukemia, while a breach of differentiation in the lymphoid stem cell line results in what is known as lymphoblastic or lymphogenous leukemia. Some individuals have a breach of differentiation in both the myeloid and lymphoid stem cell lines, and this is known as biphenotypic leukemia. Both the myelogenous and lymphoblastic types of leukemia have acute and chronic forms. If the breach occurs within stem cells or immature cells, known as blast cells, the leukemia will be the acute form. If the breach occurs within later, nearly matured cells, the leukemia will be the chronic form. Altogether, there are four main types of leukemia. Acute myelogenous leukemia, called AML. Acute lymphoblastic leukemia, called ALL. Chronic myelogenous leukemia, called CML. And chronic lymphoblastic leukemia, called CLL. In each of the different types of leukemia, one type of cell does not differentiate, but instead begins to proliferate. This proliferation in the red bone marrow occurs at the expense of the formation of the other cells made by the marrow. Leukemic cells build up in the bone marrow and then enter into blood circulation. 
Since these cells can be found in both the blood and bone marrow, leukemia is diagnosed through analyses of peripheral blood smears and bone marrow aspirations. The prognosis for leukemia depends on the type and characteristics of the cells present in smears and aspirates. Chronic and acute leukemia differ in three main ways. First, acute leukemias are typically found in children, while chronic leukemias are typically found in adults. Acute lymphoblastic leukemia, or ALL, is the most common type of leukemia in children. And CLL, which actually makes up one-third of all leukemias, is the most common type of leukemia in adults. Second, acute leukemias have an abrupt onset of symptoms compared to chronic leukemias, which progress more slowly, so the onset of symptoms is more subtle. Third, acute leukemias involve less mature blast cells, while chronic leukemias involve more matured versions of developing cells. Thanks for watching.